Hey folks, how's it going? It's Dave Tyner with Autodesk, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use this um, this utility I wrote that uh, will animate um, a group of objects and basically, you know, fly them in, rotate them in, fade them in, scale them in from a point, um, and then it just works out from that point. So uh, let's take a gander here at how this works. So the first thing you want to do when you uh, run it is come over here to scripting, say run script, and then wherever you've downloaded the script to, just uh, double click it, and you'll notice that nothing happens. Uh, so what you have to do next, it's a macro script, and so we're gonna, we're gonna put it up here into a menu. And uh, to do that, we need to create the menu. So I've created a menu called Polyform Tools, but you can create whatever you want. Um, go to customize user inter blah, blah, blah. okay. Go to customize user interface. Click on the menus tab, and then you'll probably want to create a new one called uh, test or something. Uh, test. Ing. I think I already created a, another test. All right. So when that happens, you'll notice it doesn't ha it doesn't uh, fly into here, and that's okay uh, because all we have to do here is start typing testing. And here is our menu that we're just going to drag out now into um, the main menu bar. Open it up, and then when you uh, are looking for the script, it's actually under mm, mm. <laughs> it's actually under um, Polyform Tools. Polyform Tools. Oh, whoops. Polyform Tools. There and then um, animator animator and just drag it into there. So I've already done that, so I'm actually going to just delete that. Uh, as you can see here, animator animator. Okay, silly name, but we're big Phineas and Ferb fans here, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so here's how it works. So it works off a selection of objects. So I'm gonna select all of these guys say create from selection and <clears throat> just very simply I want to scale everything in place and um, I want the the start frame is going to be one per object duration is 10 so it's going to take 10 frames for every one of these to animate in now there are 968 of them times 10 that's 9,000 680 if my math is right uh, we're not into that because that is way too long of an animation so what we need to do is we we don't want to wait until the first one is done for the second one to start we want the second one to start at after the first one has started but before it's completed and what it, what do we want that offset to be um, well if it's 10 uh, and this this part I I know it's a little goofy but just Get your mind around it. Um, so if I say overlap of 9.9, .9, that means 0.1 frame is going to go by, elapse, if you will, um, before the next one starts. And that's going to reduce my timing down to a more reasonable amount of time. And so basically, if you have uh, you know some amount of time you need this to uh, take, according to the cut that you're creating or whatever, so you would just adjust this up or down, depending on that. OK, so I have all that. I have my selection and nothing fancy. I'm just going to create the animation. And then if I play it, you can see that it's doing sort of what we want it to do, meaning it's animating a place. But it's kind of out of order, or at least it's out of the order that we want it to go. We'd rather it be more of a uniform thing that happens from a point and goes out. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to say reset keys here. And sometimes when you press reset keys, the, uh, we'll s maybe we'll see it a little later, all of these pieces just get really funky and they put themselves in weird places. Um, just just have to press reset keys a couple more times and uh, or one more time. And they'll, s they'll all snap back into the um, position, rotation, scale, visibility that they were in when we, um, when we first started. So um, but yeah, side note. All right, so now let's make it more uniform. So I want them to animate by a distance from an object. So um, I just select that, click select, 
and then say on this far side here, I want that guy. And this time I want them to just fade in, not scale in. Um, everything else should be the same. So I'll create the animation. See, you notice how fast that is. And uh, you can see it growing via, let's turn off that. All right, so you can see the, um, and this works off the visibility channel in the um, object controller, not on the material. So the visibility won't necessarily translate uh, to a game engine. I don't think it would anyway, but um, just so you know, it's not controlled by the material. It's controlled by the object's visibility. All right, so I'm going to reset the keys here. And um, so that's by distance from an object. Now I'm going to keep that selected. Yep. And I'm going to say, um, so by layer, and which layer do I want to animate? So I only want to animate layer one. And uh, layer one has 176 objects. If I open up the layer and do that, I can see that indeed there are 176 objects. So that's selected. And um, I want to make those scale invisible. And when you do the layer, it this has a, kind of a an issue, it doesn't update, I should look at it when I have time. So I'm gonna have to play with that to get my numbers right again, but I just create the animation, and then you can see only that first layer goes, and it goes according to, um, you know, what I, what I ask it to. All right, so now that's cool, but you say, hey man, I want, um, I want layer two, you know, to go to. And by the way, I want it to animate from here. And I want it to do the same thing. 176, same, so this will be the same. Create it. And you can see that, um, ah, okay. So I screwed up. I wanted it to offset and be started when the other one finishes. So, a couple ways I can do that. Um, if I if I want to, uh, I just do it the manual way, which is not, you know, amazing or anything. Um, and if I want to just say, okay, the other one, let's see, what is the other one? Like, let's say about there. So about one, about ninety five, is when I want that to happen. Okay, that means my length is going to be 194. So if I just grab all of these guys, I can move them all the way out like that. And so they'll pick up. Ah, uh, 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 interesting. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm capturing that first frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just delete that first frame so we can't see them. All right, that's good. Uh, let's see, does that just pick up pretty nicely? Yeah, I mean, maybe a little. Uh, hey, come on. Wake with me here. Let me just a couple frames earlier. Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so now let's say I want to do the same thing to layer three, um, except we're starting now on 190. And 10 frames, and uh, yes, all that, all that stuff. Oh, and um, by, let's come in there. Let's go by this guy. All right. So, yeah. Oh, looks like we ran out of real estate. See why let's just go out to 350. Yeah, all right. So it's there, it's just the timing got jacked for some reason. Not sure why. Okay. All right, so that's cool. Um, but let's ah, let's, okay. So because I deleted that first frame, well, I don't know that. Let's just see. 
there's some weird stuff that goes on here. So when you go by layers, everything is controlled by the things that are selected or the, you know, whatever the objects are in the layer. So um, since I deleted that first frame now, uh, I have an empty spot. So if I were to say reset keys, oh, okay, so it did it. Sometimes you have to reset all the keys. And uh, in order to reset all the keys, so like, for example, layer one, it's still animated because it's no longer part of the selection. So to do that, um, I would want to select that and then reset the keys on those. You could also just do reset all, which should reset the keys. And then same thing with two. Um, let's see here. No, I think I have to have that. So I'll select everything, select reset keys, and then all the keyframes go away. Um, all right, so yeah, so what else? So we can also control position rotation and all that stuff. So if we want these guys to rotate into place, um, like maybe on the Y, and then you want them to fly in from a place, which is there, and then uh, we will turn off the visibility. We want start frame to be one, and 9.9 uh, .9 is generally the thing. So now they come flying in from you know somewhere. Uh, and yeah, so I think that maybe next round, oh yeah, I have to turn that off. Um, maybe next round I could um, just create another, you could create an object and say, you know, from animate options, you know, position from this point, right? And then you can move that around um, as more of a visual clue about where you want it to come from. All right, so uh, I'll reset the keys on that one. See, see this, this is what I'm talking about. Craziness, not, not sure why that happens, but it does. And uh, you just have to press reset keys again to get it to go. All right, uh, what else? Ah, the spring, yes. Okay, so that's good to show you. So let's do these again. Create it, oh, no. I wanted to uh, create it from there. Oh no, maybe from the backside. Okay, and then that, and then all that stuff. So we'll do that. All right, so now it's you know starting in the back and going out. Uh, let's see. Mm, that's my grid. So see how it builds like in a in a arc that way. That way. Okay, so. Uh, but I want to add some, you know, like a fancy ending to this. So I'm going to turn on spring. Now spring only works when after the animation's done. So um, if you try to press it before, it's not going to give it a spring controller. You got to wait till it's done. But you can see that the objects bounce, like they jiggle into place. Yep, and if you're asking where my shadows are, that's they're right there. Okay, and then so you can see how they kind of have that spring action when they land. And then you can turn that off, and they'll just go back and do the same thing. All right, so that is the animator tool in a nutshell. Um, you can play with some of these. Uh, scale to zero, reverse. Let's let's try. I I'm, can't guarantee they're gonna work, but um, let's just try. Uh, so scale, scale to zero, meaning I want it to go the other way. I want it to just start here and go to zero. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's gonna work. I was right. We'll see what um, reverse does. Okay, nothing. All right, so currently those are not um, amazing. <laughs> All right, but this is. So, um, and then debug, I'm not sure what that is. Opacity duration is if you have visibility checked, then how long do you want it to take to um, the opacity to, to animate to full opacity. And uh, again, I don't, I haven't played with this too much. I don't even know if it works, to be honest with you. 
So if I do that, tweak the animation, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, well, maybe it's working. Yeah, it is. It just, uh, the opacity goes pretty quick. So we can see that here, 0.1, and then just, you know, a few blocks down. 0.3, yeah, okay, so we're getting more and more. Um, yeah, so I don't think opacity duration means anything, but it was going to mean something at some point. Mm -hmm, set keys. All right, Q, selection, we don't need to do it. All right, so I showed you animate by layer, distance from object, all these things, scale, we know these two don't work. Spring only after it's, it only works on position and only after um, the animation's been run. Visibility does work, opacity duration means nothing. Not sure what debug is, um, but I mean, if you press it and it errors, whatever, just come up here and kick it off again. And yes, so. Yeah, that does work. And if you press, um, Reset all, it's going to clear out everything, so you'll have to select things again. Oh, yeah. So another thing I want to show you. So if I wanted to um, animate this in a certain pattern, uh, that works off of selection. So in, it, it will animate in the order that things are selected. So for example, if I want to do this, here, that. Another one of these, and then maybe a little something that goes like that, and then uh, something like this. Okay, that's not going to be good. But anyway, so let's say I want that. I'll just say create from selection, and then scale visibility fine. Uh, interesting duration one. Not sure why. 9.9 .9 on that guy and then you can see we animate in the order that we selected things all right so anyway this is the tool and um, you know feel free to use it have fun with it if you um, make something cool with it please you know let me know because I'd love to see it all right thanks